I always believe your environment is more powerful yeah. than your, your willpower. So when you set up your environment correctly, it forces you, it pushes you towards discomfort, towards the thing that is in your best interest and prevents you from acting against yourself. Who you surround yourself matters. What content you consume matters. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Set wealth triggers. Over to you, Dan Locke. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. So you notice I have a lot of wealth triggers in my office. Mm -hmm. So it's not just decorative item. Everything means something to me. Right. So I have like you know the LOK that starts that represents personal branding. Yeah. So I can think about that like leadership, energy, and For sure wisdom. So everything's that in my office. I wanted to. I call them wealth triggers. Yeah. You should. You should create certain type of feeling environment for me, right? Mm. I always believe your environment is more powerful yeah. than your, your willpower. Right. So I want For it sure. to be performed. So I have meetings here That's all awesome. the time. People That's come awesome. over um, every week almost. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I have the Chinese uh, kind of uh, right. saying there. Uh, yeah. I'll see if I can translate that. It <laughs> basically it means a kind of like the outer world a battles one before it's ever fought. Right. And and your decisions affect um, affect the the outcome of the battle, mm. uh, even you're like a thousand miles away. Right. That's roughly how it. That's happens. cool. I That's like cool. strategize. Yeah. Strategy, yeah. Right? Your motivation sucks because your environment sucks. You're struggling day to day to stay motivated, to get amped up, to get fired up for the day because everything in your environment is centered around you staying exactly where you are instead of pushing you towards discomfort. And until you fix that, until you change your environment, until you're in an environment that is inspiring and pushes you forward, you're never going to get the growth. In one year from today, if you do not change your environment, you will stay in the exact same position with zero momentum and zero growth. When I was 18 years old, I made one small change to my environment that dramatically changed the course of my life. I had just come back from Paris. I had met a girl in Paris that I wanted to ask out, but I was too chicken to do it. And so I took a picture as she was walking away from me and I took that picture and I blew it up and put it on my wall. Just like I have these pictures on my wall. At that time, it was a picture of this beautiful French riverside. And that was a picture for me that reminded me on a daily that I did not want to live the rest of my life in regret. That was a change in my environment that pushed me to discomfort. That the next time I had an opportunity to do something, but I was afraid to do it, I would fast forward my life to age 90 and look back and say, will I regret not having taken action? That visual that I walked in and saw every single day was a constant reminder for me. And that's the beauty of having an environment that's designed for your success. Because it only takes one day of taking action. These pictures all mean something to me. When I walk into this office, it gets me inspired. It gets me feeling belief. If you walked into this office, this may not mean much to you, but all of these people mean something to me. I had to set that up one time, and now every time when I walk into my office, I get inspired. And so after a few months of having that picture up on my wall when I was 18 years old, I got an opportunity to go join a new startup company. And it was the opportunity to either be with that startup, make $300 a month, be an owner in the business, or go get my dream job that I thought I always wanted. And because I had that record on repeat, because by looking at that picture every single day, I had that record on repeat in my mind that I do not want to live my life in regret. I do not want to regret the actions not taken in my life. That I had to examine that decision. Should I join the startup or should I go take my dream job? Dream job. And you know what? I thought I could always go and get another job like that again. It may not be the perfect job. It may not be that same job, but I can always get a job like that again. I don't know if I'll ever get that opportunity to be an entrepreneur again. I don't know if this kind of opportunity will ever show up again. And I would regret not taking action on being an entrepreneur. And so because I had that picture in my environment every single day, looking at that picture every single day, having it around me every single day, it pushed me towards discomfort. It forced me to do the thing that was actually in my best interest, even though my brain 
would have acted against me, would have told me to go do the safe thing, the smart thing, the thing that I thought I always wanted. And so when you set up your environment correctly, it forces you, it pushes you towards discomfort, towards the thing that is in your best interest and prevents you from acting against yourself. Okay, so how do you do it? How do you set up an environment for success? I'm gonna give you three things to do. Step number one is fix your walls, your desks, and your screens. Think about what's on your wall. What is on your wall where you spend most of your time working? This is what's on my wall. You can see it behind me. These all mean something deep and powerful to me. Design your wall with intention. Second, what's on your desk? So for me, I've got a bunch of things on my desk. You can see my wife, my son, my two books. I've got other books. I've got things on the desk that again, inspire me. What is the thing that inspires you, that reminds you of your mission, your one word, the thing that you don't want to regret, the thing that's gonna push you towards discomfort on your desk as a constant visual reminder. And third, there is the screens. So what is on your desktop background? What is on your phone background? What are the reminders? Every time you load your phone, there's that message. Every time you look at your computer, there's that message. Fix your walls, your desks and your screens to have an empowering message that you set up once and inspires you for life. Step number two is create an empowering playlist. Make a playlist of your favorite songs that get you up, that get you moving, that get you bouncing, that get you feeling excited, motivated, energized. What ends up happening for a lot of people is when they're feeling sad, when they're feeling low, when they're feeling down and, and hating their life, what do they do? You put on really sad music. That's the worst thing that you wanna do. You wanna flip it. Music is the fastest way to change your state, to go from a place of feeling lethargic, lazy, low energy, to feeling up energetic, motivated, pumped up, the fastest way to do it is through music. And so create a playlist for you. I have mine, I call it my Believe playlist. It's a public playlist, you can find it on my channel if you wanna go and look at it. Those are the songs that I listen to when I need to get, get my boost going. Those are the songs I listen to first thing in the morning. Those are the songs that I have on at my office while I'm working. Not while I'm listening to YouTube videos because I gotta pay attention to the words, but otherwise, if I'm doing normal, kind of boring, menial tasks, I've got that music on, it's pumping me up and firing me up. And so there's no one song that's gonna work for everybody. You already know the songs that make you feel alive, bold, moving your body. So make a playlist, set it up once, and then you can put that playlist on repeat and shuffle the song so that you have a daily consistent hit of inspiration in your ears. And step number three is change your wardrobe. If you're watching this video, Dan has a suit. Dan likes walking around in a suit. It makes him feel powerful and special and makes him think of money and wealth, which is what he's trying to accomplish. I love it. For me, this is my suit. This is my wardrobe. I feel like Batman putting this on. I had these custom design hoodies where these ones have the special things for the thumb and the other ones have the orange inside of the hood and the orange underneath the arm. That, that makes me feel awesome wearing those things. And do I need them to be successful? No, but I love putting them on. I'm putting on my Batman suit when I go to work every day. Now, maybe to you, that means nothing. Maybe this, this is the nastiest thing you've ever seen in your life. Awesome. What is the wardrobe that makes you come alive? That when you put this on, it's time to go to work. It's time to crush your mission. It's time to have the most productive day of all time. And so you're not sitting around in your pajamas feeling lazy, slow, lethargic. You're going to work, you're putting your Batman suit on, you're changing your wardrobe. What does that look like for you? So remember, when you change your environment, it's the ultimate motivational brain hack. Because motivation for most people, you have to wake up and get inspired by watching a video or reading a book, taking some kind of action. But when you change the environment around you, it's a one-time thing that sets you up for life because you're always walking into this office and you can always play that music. You can always put on that wardrobe. So my question of the day for you is, what simple change will you make to your environment right now? Let me know, put it in the comments below. I'm getting more and more intrigued by mindset because I used to think of it as fluffy, like self-help, and now I think of it more as strategy. What's your strategy in life? Somebody asked me um, on Instagram after I posted this, Gary, if the mindset has been skewed, how can you bring it back? And I answered with, by surrounding yourself with people who have the mindset you aspire to. My friends, please understand that mindset is controllable in the same way that all our opinions are controllable. The key is to add more people with optimism and cut people with negativity. It's very, very simple. Now it's very hard to cut people with pessimism, cynicism, and negativity when they are the people that are the closest to you. Parents, siblings, spouse, but 
the bottom line is, if you're asking the question, I'm gonna give you the answer. The answer is add more people with positivity and optimism and cut people with pessimism and cynicism. Who you surround yourself matters. What content you consume matters. I basically suffocate myself for a long period of my time and created an environment that was based on offense and optimism and now I know no different. Please do the same for you. Make that move. Mold, and I mean mold, your mindset by what you consume and with whom you consume it. I would argue that well more than 50% of the people in this audience are here today because they worry about the way they would be judged by one and or two family members in their inner seven, eight people circle. If you're not feeling it, find new friends. I'm being dead serious about this. This one is real big for me. Who you hang out with is a huge deal. And again, these are all tried and true things, right? We've heard the you're the whatever of the five friends you spent, like that's real. Add one new winner friend. Like, you know what I mean? Add one new winner friend and cut one loser friend. Like, yeah, I know he's been your boy since fourth grade, but he sits at home and smokes weed and plays 2K all day. Like, you can only love him so much. If you're going to politics, you should go to DC. If you go into finance, New York. Movie's probably still LA. Yeah. And, and tech is Silicon Valley. It has an aspect that's, that's very open, very fluid, um, and, uh, and it helps tremendously on these cutting edge ideas. You want to be in the place where you can talk to as many people as possible about your ideas mm. um, because that's the way you will know that they're cutting edge and you will improve them even more. Hi, this is Dan Locke. If you're a fan of Evan's work, if you want to know exactly how to model my success, I want to invite you to join me for a special online training. All you have to do is click on the link below. You can join me for absolutely no charge. So click on the link below and I will see you in class. If you want more Dane Locke, check out the top 10 rules video I made on him. I think you'll enjoy it. The link is right there next to me. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. That experience changed how I operate. Mm. And that, that's how I developed this hunger to learn yeah. as much as I could.